Encouraging news about this pandemic can be found in our past. Dr. Alex Navarro with the University of Michigan Center for the History of Medicine, one of the country's top experts on the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic that killed 50 million people worldwide. Well, I called him today and asked him how that pandemic ended. Well, it began in early 1918, and as with COVID, America suffered through several different waves of that disease. But by 1920, the Spanish flu had just evolved into a much less severe form of seasonal influenza. If you had to put money down, comparing this to other pandemics, does it seem like we're starting to, to wrap this deal up? I think we are. Um... You know, there's a there's a theory. It's not universally accepted that viruses tend to get more transmissible but less deadly uh, due to their natural evolution and what makes sense in terms of spreading. Um, and I think certainly that's been the case with uh, SARS-CoV-2 and, and the COVID disease that it causes. Fingers crossed, especially as the weather gets better, uh, that this Omicron surge will be the last big surge. Fingers crossed. And Dr. Navarro says we've seen that COVID isn't going to just disappear. So best case scenario says it also becomes something akin to a seasonal flu that we just learned to cope with.